All right, and that was Nanette Miranda reporting. Well, have you gotten an email lately that says, OMG, did you see this picture of you? Yeah, maybe a Facebook link where you have to sign in or a text message from an unknown number. Our money and time savings experts in East Winston's here in studio to say you can avoid pitfalls of life if you stick by some simple rules when it comes to all of this social networking stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you realize how many hours a day we're on our cell phone, we're on all email, the time. Facebook, I try not all to. the time? I try not to. It's easy to fall into that trap. Yeah. It is. It, the, the cyber criminals are out there and, you know, social media is their paradise. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to lure you and provoke you uh, with some really engaging Connections, let's put okay. it that way. Okay. Take Facebook and Twitter. Right. You're on there, you're posting comments, you're putting up pictures. Mm -hmm. So if you get one of those emails, yeah. this is called phishing, okay? It's just like the cyber criminal is at this big social media lake and he's sitting there with this bait and he throws it out there and he's trying to see who he bites, wow. who bites. Mm -hmm. And if you're the person that got that email, mm -hmm. which I recently got one that yep. was so provocative and vulgar, you just go, are you kidding? It's shocking. So there's a link in that email or mm -hmm. whatever feed they're sending you, and they're trying to get you to go to a false landing page that they've set up to look identical to whatever your Facebook sign-in is. Okay. Okay. And they want you to go on and put in your user ID and your password uh -huh. so they can take over everything on your site. Oh, wow. They now have access to all your personal information, all your friends, and if you bite on that email, mm -hmm. you're the sucker, right? You're going right. to be reeled in by then. And then so, they send it off to all your Facebook. Exactly. And then it just goes down the line. So if you have posted something inappropriately, you want to make sure you go through the back door. Never click on, resist the temptation. Never click on that feed. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to your cell phone, we're texting away. And the new scam for them to be phishing is for them to send you an email. I mean, send you a text that's mm -hmm. really friendly. Hey, I haven't heard from you for a while. Or you've got a really bizarre number that's got weird, you know, digits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are phishing for you to reply where you inadvertently subscribe to their 995 program or worse oh, yet wow. um, access to long distance phone call and it'll just show up on your bill mm. so don't reply and check your cell phone bill on a monthly basis and then yeah. have you got this one what type take this quiz okay oh all, take the quiz no are you a Star Wars character doesn't matter delete yes I, all, no. your, all your friends have taken it I don't get right. delete. but what do you know about <laughs> crystal what do you know about Mike right and what they're trying to do is either it's the cell phone scam if you put in your cell phone they're gonna bill you on a monthly basis mm -hmm. or it's a thief trying to find out what was the street that you grew up on what was oh. your first car and what is that that's what those are the passwords that companies use that when you log on and you forget your password they ask you the question and they want you to bite they want uh -huh. you to reveal that information oh, wow so a couple simple rules that you can follow is number one think before you click think before you answer make sure that you check your cell phone bill on a monthly basis have that spy software and if you have kids in the house mm -hmm. Understand that if they're on your home computer and they are, you know, playing around answering these questions, a lot of time it's downloading spyware mm -hmm. and malware that can infect, you know, all of your stuff. So please have them write a report for you because they don't like to listen to their parents, but right. they believe everything that's on the Internet. Okay. Right? <laughs> Sadly. So, so have them write a little report about cyber, you know, theft and what's going on, and then okay. maybe they might learn something and we might learn something as well with their results. Yeah. Fantastic. Make them the reporter. I live by one simple rule. When in doubt, delete. <laughs> delete. Delete. If delete. it's that important, they'll get back to you. Exactly yes. right. I like All that. Right. Thank you, Denise. All right, thanks. All right, it's 620 right now. When we come back.